similar message to Christianity. Um, the only thing that holds me is the, the last prophet being Muhammad. I think that's the only thing that holds me at the moment. What is holding you back about Prophet Muhammad? Um, just that most of the other prophets were revealed ahead of time and I feel like Muhammad wasn't revealed in the Jewish time and in Christianity and obviously because I grew up a Christian it does state that uh, Jesus said that there won't be anyone after him and if they are people after him okay. preaching the same story that he preached is, we shouldn't believe it. What do you think the message of Very Jesus? Similar. Yeah. What, what, what do you think similar. is the message of Jesus? Because you mentioned that Islam is similar to Christianity. Yeah. What do you mean by Christianity? Uh, in terms of the teachings of all of the uh, prophets that come before, so like Moses, okay. Abraham, uh, Jesus. Obviously, Jesus is mentioned loads of times in the Quran. Yep, yep, yep. That's a lot right. of That's the stories right. are similar in terms of mm -hmm. when. Um, like the stories of Abraham is quite similar. Obviously, there's a bit, a bit of differences about which son was first and which son led mm. the nation. And, do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I get I, you. I understand get you. the standpoint that the Quran comes from because I feel that if it claims to rectify everything that's come before, mm. there would be differences because they would be coming as the truth, right? And yeah. that's what I understand from that standpoint. But from Personally, mm. I think it's just more of a faith thing for me because sure. I think faith is what makes you follow a religion, right? So what if I was to tell you that the message of Jesus is different to the doctrines of Christianity and the doctrines of the church? So if I was to say the message of Jesus in terms of God is telling you to worship one God alone, yeah. but the the church fathers is telling you otherwise, to believe in the Trinity. Yeah. If I was to tell you that Jesus never claimed that he died for people's sins, mm. but rather he's telling you to be a good Jew, by the way, if you read in Mark's Gospel, which the biblical scholars believe to be the most historical. Um, Jesus just emphatically just telling you to be a good Jew, to be a, good Jew, to be a Torah observant. Um, Here at Israel, the Lord, the God, the Lord is one, Mark 12, 29. But then the church fathers don't really teach you that, do they? So uh, that's the reason why Christians are not really following the religion of Jesus. They're just following a religion about Jesus that was manufactured by the church fathers. So if you look at the doctrine of Trinity, that was developed in the year 300 in the Council of Nicaea, and then it was officiated in the year 381. So I would say that if... It doesn't say anything about the Trinity in the Bible. So... It doesn't even mention the word. Even the concept does not exist. So exactly, I agree with you. But, but the concept of Trinity was never taught by Jesus. So that's why if you look at the message of Muhammad and the message of Jesus, it's one and the same, which is worship Allah alone, the single creator, or the, the single supreme creator of all, who is one and only, he's, he's self-sufficient, he doesn't have children, he doesn't have fathers, there's nothing like him. Um, also, you know, Shema Yisraelu, Adonai Hailo, Adonai Echad, Hero Israel, the Lord, that God, the Lord is one. Qul huwa Allahu ahad, say he's Allah one. And in the language of Jesus, which will be Syriac Aramaic, you will be Allah. So it's Jesus is only telling you to worship his God. He's not telling you to worship himself. He never said to worship the Holy Spirit or the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. These are not three gods but one. Where did he get where did he teach that? So that's why if you analyze the Quran, yes, you are correct, you're partially correct. The Quran is here to rectify the past because the previous revelations got tampered. So what the Quran does is just to filter it out. If there are some things that agrees with the Bible, I've got no problem accepting it. If there are some things that contradicts the Bible in terms of theological, historical, then I'll just reject it. Because the Quran is a trustworthy source. It is the only world religious scripture that is preserved, is unadulterated. It goes back to the Prophet. Millions of people memorize the Quran. Children as young as six have. But the Bible, on the other hand, have many you know, different versions, many editorial changes. So if you really want to follow Jesus, peace be upon him, message, then you have to follow Muhammad, peace be upon him, because they came with the same message. But what the Christians are following is not the message of Jesus. They're following what the church fathers taught them. I understand that. Um, what you said about the Quran being unchanged, uh, there are different versions of the Arabic Quran. Not different versions, different about readings. 
Yeah, seven ahruf. So these are the different modes that was authorized by the Prophet, peace be upon him. So there is a hadith where uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, actually he had this yearn that I wish the Quran has a different mode so that I can communicate to different Arab tribes because you know different he was sent to the Quraysh which is his people the Quraysh but the, the, the Quran was revealed in their dialect originally but the Prophet wanted to um, expand the message of the Quran to other Arabian tribes that had different dialects so that's the reason why you get angel Gabriel he um, he came which to teach the Quran is the spirit of the Holy Spirit right? he is the Holy Spirit Ruhul Qudus yes yeah, of course, of course. You believe the Holy Spirit is a... Where does it say that, he's, that the uh, angel Gabriel is the Holy Spirit? So he's called, uh, what, in the Quran? Yeah, yeah Allah says, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابَ وَقَفَّيْنَاهُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ مِنْ رُسُولِ وَآتَيْنَا عِيسَى بِلَ مَرِّمَ بَيَّنَاتِ وَأَيَّدْنَاهُ بِرُوهِ الْقُدُسِ That Allah said Jesus was supported with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah? And Allah mentions in chapter 2, I think verse 98, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. that Allah, uh, that the, the Ruh, um, that angel Gabriel, who brought down to the, the Quran to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he's also called the Ruhul Amin, the trustworthy spirit. So, uh, according to the Quran and the, the teaching of the Prophet, angel Gabriel is the Holy Spirit that brought down the Quran to the Prophet. But I didn't find that when I was reading that it actually said the angel Gabriel was the Holy Spirit. I feel like that's just an interpretation but he's called Ruhul Amin the trustworthy spirit that brought down upon the Prophet's heart the Quran it's in chapter 2 verse yeah no, I'll I show understand you. that but I'll show you. does that that would you say that solidifies that the Holy Spirit is Angel Gabriel yeah it is the Holy Spirit because is that, Angel Gabriel because of that passage. yeah yeah okay. yeah so the core message the foundation of Islam yeah is there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Yeah. And that's exactly what Jesus is teaching you yeah. in Mark's Gospel. But then later on, in Matthew's Gospel, is trying to make it more divine, yeah, yeah. Luke's Gospel divine, and John's Gospel is where every Christian missionary love. I am statements, I am the Father one. Yeah, yeah. But biblical scholars of today actually say that John's Gospel is not very historical. Mm. If you want to know the most historical, like the, the historical accuracy of Jesus, it's Mark's Gospel. Yeah. And Mark's Gospel is full of being a good Jew, follow the Torah, which is in line with the Islamic teaching that if you were at the time of Jesus, Jesus would tell you, follow the Torah, follow the gospel. Yeah. The gospel came here to confirm the uh, okay. the Torah. And Jesus did bring some few laws, new laws, but he also rectified the Torah that the Pharisees have corrupted. Yeah. So if you really want to follow Jesus according to history, then it's the Islamic narrative, not the Christian Where narrative. Is Jesus right now in, in Islam? Yeah, so Where Jesus is in heaven. Yeah. Jesus is in heaven. So we don't believe that Jesus was crucified, as you know. Allah saved him from the crucifixion. And we believe in his second coming, yeah. that, uh, that Jesus will descend to Damascus, which yeah. is present day Syria. Then he will travel from Syria all the way to, Dam um, to Jerusalem yeah. to defeat uh, the Antichrist. Yeah. Yeah. And where is Muhammad? Muhammad is in his uh, is in his grave in Medina, and uh, in fact, uh, the pro uh, in the uh, in fact the prophet um, all the prophets their bodies are not decomposed, it's preserved. Um, so that's why when we go to Medina to um, the city of the prophet, um, his graveyard is there. Yes, yes. But I feel, just personally, in my opinion, I feel that Jesus is not as respected in the Quran as he deserves, I feel okay. personally. Um, I could be wrong, but it's just my opinion. And sure. I feel that when you look at the life of Jesus compared to the Prophet Muhammad, yep. there is a few questionable stuff, man. Like, obviously prophets are sinless, right? Prophets are sinless. It depends what you mean. That we, we believe that um, prophets can commit minor sins, like for example, like human mistakes, unintentional, yeah. but they don't persist in the minor sins. But major sins, uh, no, not at all, like adultery, idolatry, which unfortunately the Bible, the way how they depict the prophets is, is, is very disturbing. Um, like David committing adultery, Solomon committing idolatry, Jesus calling uh, you know, a canine woman, um, 
a dog. I, 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 I just cannot, I just cannot agree with that. I'm afraid. And by the way, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you know, in his farewell sermon, he said that all mankind are from Adam and Eve, and no Arab is superior of a non-Arab, nor is a non-Arab superior of an Arab, no black person is superior of a white person, nor is a white person superior of a black person, except by piety and good action. So I actually think that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, message. He came as a mercy to all the worlds. Now, you mentioned about there's some controversial issues. I mean, look, <laughs> the Prophet, peace be upon him, according to Michael H. Hart, he wrote a book called The 100 Most Influential Human Figure in History. And he examined from the time of Adam all the way to you know his time, which is the 1970s. He actually um, ranked Muhammad, peace be upon him, the no number one. And he says that though that it may be controversial to some readers that I placed Muhammad as the most influential man in history, but he's the only man that achieved on both secular and religious level. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, look, he came with the perfect legislation. Islam came to pres preserve five things. Islam came to preserve your religion, that you worship Allah alone, you don't worship idols, you don't worship animals, statues, etc. And then if you don't fulfill that purpose, there'll be evils. Islam came here to preserve wealth. That's the reason why interest and gambling is prohibited. Islam also came here to preserve family. That's the reason why sexual intercourse outside marriage, promiscuity is prohibited, because you know that leads to destruction. It's, uh, so that's why we encourage people to get married, have children, have a stable family. Islam also came here to preserve intellect. That's the reason why alcohol and, and class A drugs are prohibited, because it inhibits your, your, uh, your intellect. And in the Bible, you're allowed to drink alcohol. Do you think alcohol is, is it beneficial to society or is it destructive? Depends how you use it, right? Hmm? Depends how you use it. Water could kill someone if, if you if, drink too much of it. But even according to science, yeah. even one drop is, is, is a poison, yeah. even according to scientists. So uh, that guidance, I cannot believe this guidance comes from God because if God is all knowing and he knows what causes bad to his creation, why would he legislate the, 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 allowing alcohol? That's the reason why Islam, alhamdulillah, came with the perfect legislation. Alcohol is prohibited. Classic drugs is prohibited. Anything that exhibit, anything that, uh, anything that intoxicates your mind. Alhamdulillah, Islam also came here to preserve. Um, Islam also came here to preserve life. That's the reason why committing suicide, killing innocent people is prohibited. And I don't think, I don't think the guidance that Jesus came with can be applied today because even Jesus mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 15 verse 24, Jesus said, "I've not been sent but unto the lost with the house of Israel." He was only sent for the Jews, for the, for, the, for the Israelites. He wasn't sent to you. Who is the only man in history who claimed to be sent for all times, for all places, for all nations? No one but Muhammad. Moses only was sent to the Israelites. That's why the, the laws at that time was only sent to the Israelites. So if you really want to follow Jesus, peace be upon him, in the way how he's supposed to be followed, then you have to follow Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because the Bible's corrupted. The Quran is the only book that's trustworthy. Now you have to submit. You haven't got any choice in the matter. If you know Islam is true, if you know Muhammad came with the same message with Jesus. By the way, Jesus never preached Trinity. You, come on, we, we agree with that. Where did Jesus say, I'm the son, I'm the second person of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit is part of Trinity. The Father is part of Trinity. He never mentioned that. Jesus never mentioned he died for people's sin. Where did he mention that? Jesus said to follow the law. What does Paul teach you? You don't have to follow the law anymore. So we Muslims are actually following more the teachings of Jesus. So if you want to be a good Christian, you have to be a good Muslim. You have to follow Muhammad. That's the reason why we Muslims, we love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. But we do not elevate. Because that right is only for our creator, Allah. When Jesus comes back in the Quran, does he judge the world? Yes, he will be a just ruler. Yes, he will eradicate all injustice. But in your Bible, the way how in the book of Revelation, how he depicts Jesus, it, he will slaughter everyone, which is quite graphic. So I, I find it quite disingenuous when Christian mysteries come to me, Jesus is all love and all of this. Um, but in his second coming, he'll be completely different. He'll be completely different. But, so, so you feel that they portrayed Jesus quite aggressively in the Revelation? Yeah, if you read it for yourself, it's the last book of the New Testament. Read it for yourself. He'll slaughter, he'll, he'll show no mercy. The reason why he, he, didn't, he didn't depict like that in his ministry yeah. is because he didn't have the power. He, didn't have, he, he, said, he said, my kingdom is not of this world. At this moment in time, he's not there to establish the law. 
but in his second coming, he will be like a militant. Like, honestly speaking, he will be the, like the most wanted man. So I find I find it quite disingenuous for Christians to say Jesus is all love and all of this. But how many times has Jesus addressed to the Jews, damnation of hell, you evil adulterous generation? But Muhammad peace be upon him never used such words. Never. And he never killed no one. He never no. He never killed anyone. No, he never killed anyone. In war, only in war. But what did the Prophet said? He said, do not kill innocent children. Do not kill children. Do not cut the trees. Do not, do not destroy churches. Do not destroy synagogues, monasteries. But in the Bible, if you read in Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 3, go and kill all the Amalekites, all the children, women, babies. That's exactly what Benjamin Netanyahu is saying. The Palestinians are the, are the Amal Amalekites, justifying from the Bible. You will find nothing like this in the Quran, in the teachings of the Prophet. He was sent, he was sent as a mercy. We have sent you on Muhammad as a mercy to all mankind and jinn and all that exists. The way how he dealt with the non-Muslims. Yes, there are, there are those who broke the peace treaty with, the, with not all of the Jewish tribes, some Jewish tribes. And of course, if they break the Jewish tribe, you have to defend yourself. All of his battles are actually self-defense. So, you know, if you, if, if you really want to follow Jesus, according to biblical scholars, it's the Islamic portrayal of Jesus, not the Christian portrayal. And, it, and Islam is the only religion that aligns with your intuition. You have one single supreme creator of all who is nothing like his creation. He doesn't eat and drink. Um, that he deserves all worship. We don't worship created things. Islam also aligns with your sound intellect, which is, which is polytheism. Where did Islam get that from? Did not get that from the Judaism? Did not get that from the Torah? Well, no. And I'll tell you why. Because in every religion, including Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity, they all agree there is one single supreme creator. This is already that appeals to your natural inclination. But what other religions have done apart from Islam is they mixed polytheism. So they started to worship gods. They started to worship created things. How did they do that? Um, due to uh, people over exaggerated righteous people, you know, for example, with the Christians, you know, they what over language? language can be corrupted as well. Language uh, was corrupted. Yeah, in the, Hindu, in, the, in, the Hebrews, in the Hebrew Bible, yes. Because and and, and how, how can you confirm that Arabic wasn't corrupted? Because so we, the form of Arabic that you're speaking now was not the form of Arabic that was spoken 100, 300 years ago. And you can't prove that. Well, because uh, you're here right now with me. You can't prove 300 years ago that Arabic that you're speaking now was the same Arabic then. If that is the case, I would like you to find me one reference where any of his people mentioned that. No, you will not find it. Um, one second. One, one, one second. No, secondly, se secondly, the language. You know what's the language of Jesus? Yeah, Aramaic. So is that preserved? You is have that the, the language of Jesus. What New Greek? And, and Greek when we're speaking of Jesus, what Jesus are we talking about? Is it the Jesus that was painted white and pushed out? To you, you were right. You, 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 you just came now. We were. We already no, no, discussed no, this. What, I'm just, I'm no, but I'm. I'm speaking to this gentleman. Okay. okay. So. First of all, the, the language of Jesus is not even preserved because you don't have the Aramaic version of the Bible. How do you know okay, the you only have the new, you only have the coin Greek. Okay, so what but that, sorry, what relevance does that have? Because if you translate over time, yeah. um, it can lose the translation of the but message. God's, God's divine message can't get lost by human tamperation. If I was to because even it, I think because even like a lot when I speak to a lot of Muslims, yeah, they keep referring back to the Quran that's in Birmingham or something like that. Birmingham manuscript. And that we don't need that. Even the same. <laughs> we don't need that. As the Quran that you guys have today. We don't need that. So then again, that just shows that it isn't one. No, we don't. No, the, here's you get the problem. I mean? No, I get what you mean. Yeah, by, yeah. by the way, the primary transmission of the Quran is not written; it's yeah, oral. It's yeah. So yeah. we have, it, we have so many like we have something called ijaza. So it, ija, one second, ijaza, ijaza means it's like a teaching certificate. Yeah, if I was to, get him involved as well. no, yeah, sure, sure, indirectly I am. <laughs> I, I, I will, I will, I will, I will address your point. Look, it's you true. Muslims is all good. You know, it's, you know about the trans it's two against one. I mean, come on, it's, it's no, not no, fair. No, 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 I'm, not I'm a separate man. I don't know this brother. Yeah, I don't know you, bro. Yeah, I love Islam. I love Judaism. I love people who want to worship the one tree of command. This is what I say. We broke commandment. Yeah. Most, the, the, the most high of Moses, Jacob, yeah, Isaac. Yeah? If this is the, if that's the same most high that I'm um, the prophet, 
Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, praises, Salah. the same one as uh, that, that, that blessed Abraham, that, that's the same. So, that's what I, you hear me? I, I have love this. But listen, away from that, dialect has been changed. Yeah? This is, this, when dialect has been changed, that allows for um, other deities to be worshipped. Yeah? Idols have been worshipped. Um, we can't. Listen. And do, do we see Muslims doing what, what, that? Uh, listen, no, no. Why do you, no, no, I, I, I'm, no, I'm going by your theory. No, I, I'm going by your theory. Yeah. We, 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 which Muslims worship idols and deities? No, we understand prayer to no, 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 address can my point. Can, 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 no, no, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to test your theory. Your theory mentioned if there's different. Where did that come from? Where did the copper stone come from? Oh, it was sent from the heaven. It was sent from the heaven um, to assist Abraham. Uh, is on the Yemeni corner, if I'm not mistaken, on the oh, the Kaaba. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the black stone. Mecca, no? Yeah, it's in Mecca. Yeah, it's that's Mecca, what I'm saying. Inside of Mecca, no. And where do you pray to? You pray to the Kaaba stone, towards the Kaaba stone. Yeah, no? that's the prayer direction. My yes, brother, yes. My brother, like I said, there's a lot of tainted things that's happened over the time. What does it say about worshiping idols? No matter how you want to look at it, it's shirk. Yeah. yeah. What, no matter how you want to look at it, there's but, a stone sitting down in the holy place of Islam. Yeah. Now, you didn't put that there. I, I think you're bringing... Uh, no, 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 this is idol worship. You've got to remember, this is why we all pay for sin right now. We, uh, do, you, do you know any Muslim who worship idols? The, the praying to the... No, I don't think you're being genuine. One thing that Christians... One thing that Christians... Wait, wait one second, one second. No, no, Kaaba is a prayer direction. Even Allah tells us that it's a prayer direction. So we don't worship the Kaaba. In Judaism, there's a prayer direction as well. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, what's you know, your point? Explain who put the Kaaba stone right there. The, uh, the, uh, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because there was a, before the Prophet. Look, look. Well, this I, 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 I feel. Look, look, look. I can answer the question. I can answer the question. But I feel like. Look, this gentleman here. Yeah, I don't want to. No, no. Sorry, sorry. One second, gentleman. One second. One second, sir. This gentleman here, initially, I just wanted to give two minutes, right? Out of his charity, he gave more time for me. Okay, so I only respect his time as much as I can. I can speak to you. I can speak to you. Didn't even no no out of courtesy. You didn't even ask. May I may I get involved in the conversation? I think out of courtesy, good manners. So no, but he's talking about more about the car, but all of that. I'm just telling you. I'm, I, look, I, 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 I am running, yes, I am running. I've got no problem speaking to him independently, but I don't want to take much of your time as well, yeah? And I do t I do appreciate that you're taking your time out, you know, to speak to me, because you said to me like 10 minutes ago that you needed to go, and you're being very respectful. So I want to so I, I have a conversation with you, and let me know when, when you need to go, because I don't want to take, I don't want to uh, hold you, right? So if that makes sense to you, that you have one single supreme creator of all, who Jesus worship and Muhammad came with that same message then what, what, what's the issue of you accepting Prophet Muhammad to be messenger of God? Just remixed. Mm -hmm. That's honestly my how, how it felt and I was like it just sounded like the Bible remix. That was at the end of it because my cousin gave me his one and I, and I read it and then he was like, so what do you think of it? I said, a lot of the stories in the Bible, they're just little additions, stuff taken away, stuff switched around. Um, well, Islam only came here, Islam came here to, to confirm and correct. Yeah, so we have to believe in Moses. We have to believe in Jesus. The only thing that holds me back from that is that Muhammad wasn't revealed. So, was was he? What? Okay. So, so this Quran here, when he when when he was when when the Quran was received to him, was he lying? Was he deluded? Or was he speaking the truth? But that's that's the only variables. But you can, with all due respect, you cannot use the Bible as your parameter. To judge the Quran, because you are so do I use, them? use the Quran. It, to judge the Quran. No, to judge the Bible, because this, because this is the only. No, sorry, one second. No, sorry, I'm speaking to this gentleman. I'm, I'm speak, I'm speaking to this gentleman. You just looked at me. I'm speaking to this gentleman. Thank you. Okay. Do you believe Moses is a prophet of God? Oh yes. Which. Which book no, was it revealed it before, the Torah like, or the Bible that you have to, the New Testament that you have today? So let's use that standard of criteria. A Jew can use that argument against you. Oh, 
Moses came before Jesus. The Torah is more superior than the New Testament. This is not a validation of finding out the truth. If, the, if you have the message that is preserved, that is trustworthy, that is not changed, that is unadulterated, then why aren't you, why aren't you going to follow the message? Why are, you, why are you preferring to follow the message that you know has been corrupted and changed over time when you have this present, this book right now in your hand that is unadulterated? Like, for example, Angelica Neweth, German professor of Quranic studies, University of Berlin. She mentioned there's no change. It's, it's a country historical consensus, no change of the Quran. But a country historical consensus of the Bible, it's changed. Excuse me. Um... No, I, I'm speaking to this gentleman. I, I, I like I, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm it's now. Look, I now have. I just want to ask okay. I just want to ask a question. I would like. Okay. It, look, look, look. Do you mind if I ask a question? I want to listen because I'm, like I said, I'm in between. Do you mind if I ask a question? Out of okay. So if I, so if I. He doesn't mind if I ask. Can I just ask one question? So, you, but you didn't ask my permission. Okay. I'm just asking. Do you mind if I ask a question? Okay. I'd like to end the conversation with this gentleman. Then I'll speak to you. If you need to go, please let me know. I'm not holding you up. So have we ended our conversation? Yeah. Yes. Okay, nice to meet you. What's your name? Jarrell. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right on. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Robert. Go on.